Hey guys, how's it going today? I'm not doing so great, but I wanted to make a video anyways just to get what's going on out of my mind. Not a big deal. Here I am. I'm going to show you my awesome collection of enamel pins I have here. And I do normally keep them on this vest. I'm trying to cover it in pins and patches that I love. Yeah, I'm going to try to get through this video as best I can. Have it up for you guys and ready because I'm excited to show you. Um, I do plan on doing an update every once in a while once I have a good number of new ones to show you. So um, I guess you could say this is a pin update. I'll just get into it and I'll tell you where I got them from and I'll be sure to even link them in the description if they have stores. Now I don't remember the exact order in which I got these pins. That's one thing I don't remember. But um, I will tell you where I got them and all that stuff. This first pin I got is from Funhouse. They are our favorite YouTube channel. And they do gameplay, comedy sketches, just pretty much any little thing that they feel like doing. It is from their store, which I'll even link that if you want. It is a soft enamel. There's no back stamp or anything. I think they just had like a huge order of them made to sell in their shop. It has a black back rubber clasp and it's just orange and black like their logo and yeah i got it at a steal of like four dollars from their store because they were having a sale at the time and they always have sales on these things and i think right now it's maybe even cheaper than that but uh, i wanted one because i love them so much and i also got the patch you can see right here so we're big big fun house fans in this house so i just wanted to show you that one next i have this adorable little aviator bunny um, I know the lighting's not super great here. I'll try to fix that in editing. But this is a pin that I got from a good friend, Melissa. Uh, she has several enamel pins now, and this is the only soft enamel that she did. It's a little aviator bunny, a little cardboard um, helicopter, I guess, airplane. And she uh, traded it with me as a second, and I can see the little flaw in it. Um, there's like a little bit of white in the ear pink part, but honestly, I like seconds just as much as I do regular grade pins. I'm not offended as long as I can tell what it is. I think it would have to be pretty severe for me to not like it, but it's this beautiful soft enamel pen. The colors look great. Her artwork looks great in soft enamel. I kind of wish she had more soft enamels, but I understand that that's the style she's going for now is the hard enamel. Um, she does have this beautiful black plating and her logo and her name. It says Melissa H. Francis, Mimosa Studios, copyright 2016. So that's when she had this one made was last, no, two years ago, 2016. So this was her first pin. I'm not even sure if she's got any more of these left. So um, I feel like I'm pretty lucky to have snagged one of these guys. They're super cute and I love it. Okay, my next pin is from Free Radicals and Julian Salomita. Oh, I dropped it. Another YouTuber that I really, really enjoy watching. Um, he's released quite a few pins, but this is the only one that I've managed to snag because they go out so fast. I'm always at work when they go on sale. And I was supposed to get this one and the uh, two-colored blue and yellow popsicle, but literally the second I hit order, that one was sold out and this was the only one I could get at the time. It's just this cute little Nimbus cloud with his little hair crown at the top and it's designed by him and Free Radicals. It says on the back, it is stamped Julian Salomita Free Radicals. It has two rubber clasps. I love this pen. I wish I could get the rest of his pens, but I literally cannot get them in time. They're not that expensive, but they are just so hard to get because he's got such a huge fan base now. I was watching him way back in the day, and I just, I love his channel. I love where he and Jenna have gotten in their relationship and just everything about their channels and I just really wish I could get more to support them. Yeah, this is a really treasured pin for me. I, I love it. This one's a little newer to me. I got it from an Etsy shop. I'll be sure to link them all in the description in the order of which I'm showing them. It is this cute little pink fox in a bubble. You can see, I'm trying to show them real well, it's hard. Um, this person sells mostly Overwatch pins and maybe I think a Naruto pin or two. But this one was totally different. I don't think this is a reference to anything. It's just an original design. But it is my favorite in their shop. It comes with a golden clasp. And it's um, like a dark gray plating, I think. I don't 
think I purchased this as a seconds pin. I think I just paid full price for this. But it is so perfect and cute. I love that it's pink and I love foxes. They are my favorite animal. I don't know. I just, I fell in love with this design. It wasn't super expensive. And I definitely recommend buying from this seller if you have the chance. There is no back stamp though. I do remember, I think it's the Mage's Lantern, but I'll put it in the description. Okay, the next pin I have is this Hello, which is the worm from the Labyrinth. Um, that is my favorite movie ever. And he is my favorite character ever from that movie. So I had to get this guy. I saw it on Etsy a long time ago and I've had my eye on it. And it's from the Foxy Hipster. They have it back stamped. There's no year on it though. So I'm not sure if they're gonna have more made or whatever, but I don't think I purchased this as a seconds pin. It says, hello. And it's just, it's a soft enamel and it's super cute. It's perfect. I had my eye on it for so long and I think I got it on sale. They were they were selling what few they had left at the time. They only had like maybe 10. I don't I don't know if they ordered more or whatever. But I'm very, very happy with it. And it's one of my favorite pins because I don't buy a lot that have to do with shows and movies and stuff because I like original art pins, but sometimes I just have to get one because it is just it just speaks to me and this is one of those. This next pin I got from my husband. It is something they gave away with a video game at GameStop. He plays the Assassin's Creed games very, very habitually. He loves them. Uh, of course, they've gotten worse, but this is from the newest one. It's Assassin's Creed Origins, the Egyptian one. And it's huge. It's like, I would say like a four, five inch, no, about four and a half, four inch pin. It's really big and it's the biggest pen I've ever owned. Most of mine are under two inches or two inches at the most. And it has like this big piece on the back that's got like three holes in it, but this only has two. So you can like put it up here, you can put it up here, which I guess is cool, but um, I prefer the smaller to regular size pens, I guess, just because this is so gaudy and I feel like I'm gonna hit it on everything, which I have, um, it might, go on the pin board more than likely but I can definitely tell they put a lot of money into this because it's so shiny the design is so detailed and there's a ton of colors and I can appreciate the craft of it whoever made these did a really nice job it is on silver plating hard enamel got it for free for pre-ordering a game so that's not bad this next pin I got is a trade I will definitely link them okay I promise this is a cute little wolf with flowers. It's kind of like a sugar skull, but wolf instead. It's got the green leaves and the ears. Oh, that's so creative. Sometimes I forget how beautiful these are until I'm looking at them again. I just love this design. It is so beautiful. And she's done a lion like this in like three different colorways. And also I think she's done like a funny Drake wearing like a pizza shirt pin, which I don't, I don't get that reference, but I'm sure there's something funny to it. Um, but this this is definitely my favorite of her designs. It's hard enamel. It is a rubber clasp on the back and there is no signature on the back of it. This next pen is one of my favorites because it's mine. <laughs> uh, I did make a video a long time ago of me reviewing like the company whom I got these from and um, just looking through them and opening it and everything. And I was super excited and they were great. I didn't have a ton of defects. Mine's already got like a little scratch on it, but this is my soft enamel, my first pin I ever had made. It is hentai, you know, like a chicken wearing a tie and also the anime stuff. And I love this one. It has sold super well. I'm very proud of it and I might have it reprinted. I'm not sure yet because I only have a few left and I'm contemplating whether or not I want to reorder it or do another colorway or just call it quits and let this one be retired. That's definitely something that pin makers have to consider is if they want to keep printing the same design over and over or if they want to do limited editions, which is a good idea because then people might want to get it faster and it's more of a collector's item instead of just like, oh yeah, anybody can go buy this. So I'm still considering whether or not I want to order more of these. I might actually just do a different colorway, but I haven't decided what that will be. But he is just a simple two color soft enamel on like a silver backing. I did not get a back stamp on this and I wish I had, but at the time I did not know that my manufacturer did that. So I didn't do it. 
and I have like rubber clasps on them. If you're interested, definitely check the link in the description below. I only have like a few of these left, less than 50, probably less than 30 if I had to guess. And I don't know if I'm going to reorder them yet or not. So definitely grab them while you can. And they have a cute little backing card unless you get a second. If you get a second, they don't have a backing card because that just costs extra. And I'm basically selling them at less than half the profit when I sell them in seconds. So this next pin I got as a trade and I'll definitely link this person as well in the description because I always forget their names. Um, this one is <laughs> the cutest little bubble sore pin. I haven't gotten a whole lot of fan art pins, but this is another one of them. It is bubble sore with a planter, like a terrarium on its back and it has some very intricate detail. It is soft enamel and we did trade seconds, um, I think. I only see like a slight flaw, but that could have been me scratching it or something because I do wear them. And it's got like these flowers, this little uh, succulent in here. It's got some pokeballs thrown in there, some dirt and some tiny little heart. They're so cute. God, there's so much detail. A little mushroom. I don't know if you can even see it in this. There's so much detail, but they did get this one redone in a hard enamel if you're interested in that. Um, I'm not sure if there are any soft ones left. There's no back stamp, um, but I did trade this one along with this other one that they traded me for some plushies and stuff. So this one is a Kirby pin. It is super tiny. It is the smallest pin that I own. Um, I think this might be like a half an inch. I don't know. I don't really know what size this one is, but it's just a cute little pink uh, soft enamel Kirby that's pixelated. I love the edges of it. Like you can see the little lines, the jagged edges, like the pixelated games. And it is so cute. And there is a back stamp on this one. Let's see who it's from. Oh yeah, Boo Pins. One of them just doesn't have a back stamp. So uh, they have come out with several pins since then. They've done a lot of really cool collabs. They love Kirby. Definitely can tell that they love Kirby. But uh, I'm super glad that I snagged these two from them in a trade. It was super nice of them to do and I really appreciated it. I love trading pins. This next one was uh, a trade also. I cannot remember who it was from and there's no back stamp. It's this cute little sheep. It's white and has like a dark gray plating. I, I don't know, this plating doesn't look familiar but it's very shiny and beautiful. It's like almost black and it's soft enamel. It has these little swirls and the cute little sheep's face and little toesies. And um, I'm not sure if this person makes pins anymore. Honestly, I haven't looked at their shop lately, so I need to go see. But I'll, I'll still link it if I can find it. And if I can't, I'll let you know. It is very cute, and I like the way it feels. It's just very smooth compared to a lot of um, soft enamel pins. This one is from My Mummy Life, but I think they changed their name. So I will link that in the description, of course. Like I keep saying that every time. This is a blue gummy bear with a tear. It is like a teardrop gummy bear. I got this in a giveaway actually they had and it was a while back. It's got this butterfly clasp on the back. There's no signature on it, but it's super cute, really shiny and glittery. There's no epoxy over the glitter though. So um, I don't know if some people prefer that. I really don't care as long as the pen can hold the glitter and this seems to be holding the glitter very well for me. I haven't noticed any glitter falling off or like getting on me when I'm holding the pen, but I know that can happen. This is a soft enamel, super cute glitter in the bare parts. This next pen is another one of my designs. It is Illuminati. Uh, <laughs> I love puns and punny pens and just things that are just make people go, oh God, or they make them giggle or any kind of reaction like that. It makes my day. She is a 1.5 inch pin, like my other one, but she's taller than wide, so of course it makes the proportions look a little different. She has these cute little shoes and she's just a little pinup girl, inspired by the Illuminati, you know, conspiracy group things. And uh, she has a pyramid head and a big eyeball and she's just doing a cute little pinup pose, hand on her hip, wearing a cute little outfit. And uh, I really love this character. I've also made stickers of, of her. <laughs> and I didn't get a back stamp on her as well because I did not know you could get them from my manufacturer until now. But she is hard enamel, so she's very smooth on the top. And she turned out very well. I did have a few more um, seconds in this batch, 
but I will be putting them up eventually and I haven't sold as many of her because she is a newer design so if you're interested in getting one of her make sure you do before I run out because I'm not sure if I'm going to reorder her or not so we'll see you know I still haven't decided on if I'm gonna do those again this is another one from my friend Melissa of Mimosa Studios she does always get them back stamped this one was 2017 it is this cute little stegosaurus I bought this one from her at Lexington Comic and Toy Con I think in 2017 if I'm not mistaken she has a couple of colorways of this one I think but this was the one that I liked the most it's just like a cute little corally pink peach a turquoise for the spots and then like a pretty blue for the body and I just love this guy I always had a fascination with dinosaurs when I was little this next one I got in a trade with someone this is I heart jorts like jean shorts it's a heart enamel very tiny it might be just a one inch pin but it's super super smooth I think they might have gotten like an epoxy cover I can't tell but it it's one of the smoothest hard animals I've ever seen and it has a red backing rubber clasp there is no back stamp but it was done on like a pretty rose gold um, plating which is really different I don't have any other pins like that that I can recall and I don't think I've even like favorited any like that since so that's really cool and I like it a lot this next one I got as a trade. I sent, I think, a pin and maybe something else to this person and they sent me all of their pins. Um, they took a little while to send me mine, so I guess they felt bad and they, they sent me all of their designs even though they didn't really have to. It was really sweet of them though. I traded for a different pin and they sent me all of theirs and this is one of them. It is, oh, I forgot what they called it, I'm so bad. But it's a meal that is uh, very prevalent where they come from. And so I think it's like a hot dog with cheese in it. And it looks really good. Like it looks delicious. But I'll have to look up the name of it. But I, like I said, I'll put everything either in the video or in the description. And it's a soft enamel. Very good quality. Black plating with a rubber clasp. No back stamp. But the colors look great and I really appreciated the free pen. It was really nice of them. This pen was a definitely a B grade. She gave it to me pretty much. Um, I, I did give her some things as well, but this pen she she was just trying to get rid of it because she just had too many of it. She had to get it replaced. It's from Melissa again. Um, looking far away, you can't really see a problem. It's just this cute little white kitten in a yellow box with a red bow it's a christmas pin which i don't typically buy holiday themed pins which i would if i had more money to throw that way maybe one day i will but for now i buy ones mostly that i can just wear anytime it is so cute but there is a flaw if you can see it up close i don't think you'll be able to see it in the video the yellow is definitely mixed with a green and it it's not to the point of where it pisses me off you know because it takes a lot for me to not, not like a pen but I can definitely see how she would be very upset with the manufacturer if she was and get them replaced I hope that she did because people may not want to buy them like that but I am very pleased with this pen and I love it and I think that anyone who is okay with seconds would still love this pen but it is hard enamel and it's really cute this kitten is adorable and I know she has a different colorway of it as well so definitely check that one out and this one is a cute little doggy uh, it is a I think it's a Frenchie or a Boston Terrier I like to think of it as a Boston Terrier because me and my husband love them so much but this is a pretty large pen I think it's like two two and a half inches and it has like a glitter tongue so that's really cute it has no back stamp, so I can't recall exactly who it's from, but I will link that. And it's just the cutest thing. And she also has a cat that's similar to this with a glitter tongue. So if you're interested more in cats, you can get that one. We traded, so I'm really happy to have this one in my collection. And it's very good quality. I think we traded seconds. I cannot remember for the life of me, but I don't see any flaws if we did. So yeah, you're sure to get a good quality pen from this person. And this is the last one I have from Melissa. <laughs> Uh, as of right now, I'm definitely going to order some more soon probably just because she has so many designs coming out and she's a good friend and I just like collecting them from her. Her art style is just too cute. 
This is another one we traded. It is this cute little astronaut bunny. I think they are sold out and I don't think she's ordering any more. And if she is, it's probably gonna be from a different manufacturer so they're not gonna look exactly like this. I could be wrong though. Don't take everything I say for complete 100% accuracy just because I'm not completely informed on everything. But yeah, she has her back stamp as usual. Very smart woman. Um, this was 20 in 2016 as well. Super, super cute. Very tiny details. And I see no flaw in it other than me scratching it up a little. But the colors look really good. The lines are nice and thick, but not like ridiculously thick. And it's just a cute design, okay? I love it. This one I got from Yo Wolf. I do remember her name because I follow her very frequently on social medias. She has animated, I think, for a few companies. She's, she's doing very well for herself. I'm very impressed. And this is a character that she created called Anxiety Fox. And I think that it's helped a lot of people feel like they're not the only one suffering from severe anxiety, whether that's social anxiety or just, just any form of anxiety. I know that I frequently have issues with social anxiety. I get to the point of where I can't really function if I'm around too many people that I don't know or in groups of people. It just, you know, I'd rather be with people I know in small groups alone. <laughs> So I don't go to bars or anything and this fox really does make me feel better. It says it will be okay. And um, if there's a time when I feel overwhelmed, I can always look down at my pen because it's right here. It's my top one and I can look down and I can see it and know that it's okay. It's going to be okay. And most of the time I handle it pretty well. But I do think this pen is a good mantra for some people if they're having a hard time with their anxiety and the character is freaking adorable. There's also different versions of this design if they're still for sale. She may have sold out of them. I grabbed it as soon as I could and I had a little extra cash on my PayPal so I grabbed it as fast as I could. This pen came from the same person as who sent me this one. They sent me um, Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno. The three houses <laughs> of Pokemon Go, the three teams, and I gave my friends who were of those teams I'm kidding. Um, the other two pins and I kept the Team Mystic one because I am hardcore Team Mystic. I still play the game, not as harshly as I used to, but they do update it so I recommend that if you like Pokemon still you should try playing it again. It's a really good high quality pin and it's hard enamel on a gold plating. Okay, This one is a very new pin, my newest pin actually that I've gotten in a trade. It says, I reject your mating advances. I thought that was really funny and um, I like the little details and the flowers and the glitter is very nice. It's not epoxied, but like I said, it doesn't bother me as long as the glitter doesn't come off and I have had none fall off of this pen. Very, very fine glitter. I think it's like pink and silver. Black plating with two rubber clasps and it has their logo on the back but um, I think I know the name but I don't want to say it wrong so I'll, I'll just link it okay but it is very cute we traded I'm very very happy with it and they were very prompt to send it and very nice and we're in a friend group on Instagram so I feel like I know this person pretty well and uh, I just appreciate the awesome trade this one's also from a friend that I'm in an Instagram group with I bought this one as a second though it was maybe five dollars I don't remember but they did have it on sale. They only had a few of this colorway left. I think it was their Halloween edition. They did like a giveaway that was Halloween themed. She did a pen that she'd already created in a Halloween colorway. It is the only other one I have that's holiday themed, but I just love the colorway so much that I got it. It has like a peachy pink white face with um, the ever so familiar pattern of Ted and Kip, which is the creator, on the ears and the top of the face. This person has a very unique style and I love it. I think that it's very cool and geometric and it reminds me of some work that I did in um, community college in my art classes. There's no back stamp, so um, I'll definitely link it for you. And it's just a really cute hard enamel pin. And my last pin that I have is one of the first that I bought, if not the first, Pajamas for Life. <laughs> I think this is from Veronica Dearly, if I'm not mistaken. There's no back stamp and it's on a silver back plating with a butterfly clasp. It's about a one, one and a half inch pin, maybe 1.25. It's just this really pretty pink background with a pajama, like a set of pajamas. It says pajamas for life. 
And that's me to the core. I'm always tired and I always want to lay around in my pajamas whenever I can. Um, so yeah, I just, I had to get this pen. It was another one that was on my list forever. And I think I bought these at the same time, like around the same time because they were on my list forever. But yeah, you guys, that's my pen collection. Um, I'm probably going to put them on my pen board now until I feel like changing my setup on my jacket and buying some more. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll give it a like. Subscribe if you enjoyed this. I definitely want to do more in the future once I get a few more pins. And, you know, I want my board to be full. It's a huge board, definitely. It would take years to fill up. But uh, I also have my next two pins planned out that I'm going to order. I just have to save up the money to do that. But uh, if you want to help me get those funded you can always check out the shop below and purchase something from there but any money sent into that helps me make my life happen pays rent helps me fund any future art projects yeah just wanted to let you know about that but i hope you guys are having a fantastic day stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next video bye guys